Introduction to Current Transformers Part 3 Current Transformer Ratio In Part 2, we talked about the polarity markings of a current transformer. In Part 3, we'll talk about current transformer ratio and how to relate primary current to secondary current. Okay, so let's first begin by drawing an ideal transformer. Okay, so an ideal transformer is a transformer that has a primary winding and a voltage across the primary winding that is defined as VP, the number of primary turn and current that's flowing into the the primary winding okay so the secondary winding looks something like this we have the number of secondary turn which is defined as ns and then the secondary voltage across the secondary winding and then the secondary for current flowing like that and then oftentimes we have polarity markings by nice round dot like that and then we have two lines that are right in the middle of these two windings which indicate magnetic coupling Okay, so let's relate primary voltage with secondary voltage. Now, primary voltage is directly proportional to the number of primary turns. And secondary voltage is directly proportional to the number of secondary turns. So primary voltage and the number of primary turns are directly proportional. Which means that if we solve for the secondary voltage, it would look something like this. So turns ratio in a transformer is defined as the number of primary turns divided by the number of secondary turns. But when we're talking about a current transformer, the current transformer ratio is a little bit different. The current transformer ratio is equal to the number of secondary turns divided by the number of primary turns. It's essentially flipped. Why is that? Why is it flipped? Let's try to understand this intuitively. Okay, let's relate primary current to secondary current. Now, if we want to relate primary current to secondary current, here's what we would have to do, okay? Primary current divided by secondary current is direct proportional to the number of secondary turns divided by the number of primary turns. When we're talking about currents now, look how the primary current, which is this primary current that's going into the primary winding, it's directly proportional to the number of secondary turns, which is this value here. So when we're talking about currents, it's flip-flop. It doesn't hold the same relationship as voltage. Now, if we solve for the secondary current, it would equal primary current times the number of primary turns divided by the number of secondary turns. The purpose of a current transformer is to transform primary current, which should be a high value, to secondary current, which should be a low value but to transform them proportionally, okay? So if we were to design the current transformer, we would want to have a small secondary current, right? That's the whole purpose of a current transformer. Now, to have a small secondary current means that we either have to have a very small primary turn or we would have to have a very large secondary turn. Again, so secondary current is small when we have a high number of secondary turn or a low number of primary turns. All right. So what does that mean? That means that this picture that I've drawn is technically incorrect because in this picture the number of primary turns equals the number of secondary turns so this isn't a very good representation of a current transformer so this is a better representation of a current transformer we have the primary voltage here the number of primary turns primary current here the number of secondary turns which is a lot more and the uh, secondary voltage here and secondary current flowing out like that. So in this example, we have only two turns for the primary winding and a whole lot of turns for the secondary winding, which makes a lot of sense, right? This is a current transformer. So the current transformer ratio, which is this value here, is defined by simply the number of secondary turns 
which is this value here, divided by the number of primary turns. So quite often we see a CTR of let's say 600 to 5, which means that proportionally now we have 600 turns for our secondary winding and only 5 turns for our primary winding. And now another way to think about this is essentially 120 to 1, right? So which simply means that we have 120 secondary turns and only one primary turn. Okay, now a type of current transformer is called a window type current transformer which will draw like this. In the window transformer there's a big window out like that and quite often we see that there is a conductor that flows directly through this window type transformer. Okay, like and the source is on this side and the load is on that side. So we know that current flows like that. So suppose that this was our primary current. So in terms of secondary windings, let's say we draw our windings like this. Okay, so this is the secondary voltage. The number of secondary turns is essentially 1, 2, 3, and 4. And this is our secondary current that's flowing through our... Now the secondary terminals were connected to some meter. Okay, in this particular example, our primary current over our secondary current is equal to the number of secondary turns over the number of primary turns, which means that secondary current is equal to primary current times the number of primary turns divided by the number of secondary turns. Okay, so we know that the number of primary turns that we have in our transformer, well, that number is simply 1 because the conductor goes directly through our transformer. So we only, we, we only have essentially one turn. And the number of secondary turns is 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so the number of secondary turns is 4. So now our secondary current is essentially equal to our primary current times 1 over 4, which means that our secondary current is essentially one fourth of our primary current. So our CTR is equal to the number of secondary turns divided by the number of primary turns is equal to 4 over 1. So in this particular example, our CTR is essentially 4. Very simple, right? So now suppose that now suppose that we removed our conductor and wrapped it around the CT like this. So what did we do here? So we took our conductor and we wrapped it around the CT. So since we wrapped this conductor around the CT like that, now we've actually changed the number of primary turns. So instead of 1, it's going to be 2. So and then the secondary turn stays current uh, sec the number of secondary turns stays the same, which is 4. So our equation turns into like this. This becomes a 2, this becomes a 2, and this becomes a 2. So CTR is essentially the value that is proportional to the number of secondary turns divided by the number of primary turns. And CTR is the thing that relates the secondary current to the primary current. So in part two, we talked about an ideal transformer. We talked about the primary current. We talked about the number of primary turns, the number of secondary turns, and we talked about this case here. We talked about what turns ratio means in the transformer, and then we talked about current transformer ratio. We also drew our ideal transformer again to better represent what CTs look like, and we did an example where we solved the secondary current based on the number of turns. In part 4, we're going to draw Y-connected current transformers for three-phase systems. Thank you! This module was brought to you by GeneralPack.com, making power system protection, automation, and controls intuitive.